In this video, I am going to show you how to label and edit a legend in Google Sheets. So sometimes when you're working with charts, you want to make your chart easier to understand and having proper label legends goes a long way to making your data easier to read. So I'm going to show you how to add a legend to your charts and then how to do some basic editing of that legend. So first, let's just make a basic chart. So I have this data here and what this is supposed to be is sales for different products, but I don't have any headers or any other columns to really tell you that, but I'm using this poorly labeled data to just show you how to edit a legend. So first again, I'm highlighting my data range and then I go to insert at the top and I'm going to do chart. Um, now by default, Google Sheets selects the chart type that they think best fits your data. I'm going to change this to a pie chart by coming to setup and chart type. So I select pie chart. Now, by default here, it has these percentages um, next to each section of data here. But maybe what I want to do is I want to have these values here to label this. So to add labels to your chart, what you do is you come up to the chart editor and you should be in the setup tab and then you go to label. So then what you can do is you can select your data range to use as the labels for this chart and you can see now it has these values to label my chart with. So it can make it a little easier to read because now instead of just seeing the percentage you can see the actual number used to create the percentage. Now if you want to remove this value you can select remove here or the other option you have for labeling your chart is coming down to the very bottom here and you will see this that says use column A as labels. If you select that, if you select that, that will label your chart and then if you deselect that, it goes away. So that is the other option you have. Now. This isn't very clear what this data is to begin with. So if you want to actually customize the text in your legend, you can manually type in here too. You just have to double click and you can see it opens up this text box. So what this pie slice is supposed to represent is the sales of this item, hat. And this is the sales of another item, Let's go jeans, shirt, and we'll just go socks. So this is what this chart represents as the sales for various products, but without these labels in here, you really can't tell what this data is for. So that would be how to manually add labels to your chart. Now let's get into customizing the, the positioning and the font of your legend. So to actually customize your legend, what you want to do is you want to come to the customize tab and then you navigate down to this legend section. From here, you can change the position. So maybe I want it on top. And you can also edit the font. So you have different font settings that you can change. You can change font, font size, format, and text color. And that is pretty much it for adding and editing a label legend. One thing I do want to show though is that if you have your data clearly labeled ahead of time before you create your chart, you don't need to do a lot of this. So what I had to do here is I had to manually enter all this data so that you can understand what's going on in this chart. That's because I created this chart with just these numbers. Now if I create this chart with this already clearly labeled data, you can see it's already easy to understand and I shouldn't have as much editing to do. Now you can always edit this if you see something you want to make more clear, but as you can see now, this is already labeled with sales. It's already labeled with the item type, and this 
is all together just easier to understand right off the bat so I won't have to do as much editing if the data that I'm using to create the chart is already formatted nicely ahead of time. So that's pretty much it for this video. As always, just let me know if you have any questions. Thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or content suggestions, just let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer everyone.